Hey guys, uh, we're going to do our second ace in the uh, Basato, I guess, or Basoto, whatever you want to call it. And I've let my T50-2 know to play carefully um, because I have great camo and great view range. So um, we are bottom tier here, so uh, we got to play a little bit safe, but we're going to go ahead and push up a little bit and assist this T50-2. And so it is an encounter match, so you would expect quite a few guys to go to towards the cap, and they are. I think that's actually great. And we're going to just kind of dive into this position down here um, in hopes that we can catch vision on some guys. Maybe even some guys that this T50-2 doesn't get vision on, because if you look, he's, he's um, got issues with uh with bushes in the way so so my uh <laughs> my idea is that i want to make sure that this the light tank dies and so that was a little bit of a risky shot but it is a tier six so there's that and we see these guys pushing <laughs> like crazy so we're gonna just double bush and we're gonna get a shot on on this guy and then hopefully we can get a shot again on them. We're going to relight them and uh, and get another shot. So this is the dream scenario here. And we're using standard rounds. And I decide I'm just going to track this guy because I want him stationary and stopped. Right? So there's also a Carnarvon back there that has, has kind of pushed up. And then also an M3Y. So hopefully we can get some shots on these guys and we do change to gold rounds because this this M3Y side turret is just too juicy for us not to hit. So our light tank is dead. Um, no big surprise, tier six in a tier eight game, it happens. And it's part of the reason I don't like going in initially to the bush line because it's too easy to get proxy spotted, especially by a guy that is um, too aggressive you know and then you end up losing your tank over a guy that's too aggressive so from this side i definitely like going to this position and at this point i'm i'm fairly certain that i can get up into the higher bush which is going to give me better vision along here like i said 475 view range and so these guys even if they're behind a 50 percent bush you know they have no camo as heavies I'm still going to spot them before they even spot me. So, um, and I'm in a bush as well. So I'm basically invisible. I, the only way you're going to see me is if you proxy spot me. So this is a going to be a bit of a slow game, but I love this tank. I think this tank is, is awesome. Um, it's, uh, it's got a great gun and it's kind of, and it's super sneaky. The gun handling is poor on it. I mean, that's for sure. But uh, our IS-5 is pushing forward, which in a way is kind of okay. But the fact that he's pushed that far forward, I'm guessing that these guys, uh, the Carnarvon left already. So there's probably guys in the back and they're probably over on the other side of the bush line trying to get shots on this IS-5. That'd be my guess. So, So I could be a little bit more aggressive here. And I think I end up doing that. Yes, I end up moving up to the next bush. So again, 49% camo. I think I've got, I think it's like 26 on the move. So even on the move, I'm not easy to spot. Even if you have 445 meters of view range, I'm probably, you know, 350 before you see me. And uh, so you see the last known spot on that M2Y it's very unlikely that he's going to spot me. And that's that's basically what I'm banking on. I'm using my camo. And so for a tier six tank and a tier eight game to have this much impact that early, have uh, 2,600 combined this early is a good thing. So I'm, I'm debating, I'm thinking I might shoot at this uh, 112. And we do put in a gold round for him and we're gonna see if we can get a shot on him now the shell velocity on this is terrible but you notice I back up behind the bushes and I'm able to um, shoot at this uh, 
112, and hopefully that will keep him down and keep him away from our T44-100. That's my hope. So lots of time left in the map. Um, looks like the I've got a couple of guys with me. Now, we're going to decide to push forward, and I want to explain that there, the two guys that follow me are are players that really... I, I really wish they would think a little bit more about their positioning, honestly. So we're going to get a shot here. Um, and this guy is far enough away, he probably won't spot me because I've got, I've got two bushes between me and him. And one of them's opaque and one of them's not. So I get 10% camo, plus I get another, um, another probably 30 to 40% camo. And I have 6% camo on my tank. So when I'm firing. So I've got, you know, I've got probably close to 50% concealment um, even now. And he's he's a ways away. And um, I'm guessing that's why he's not able to hit me. Now he's trying to look me off because he knows that I'm up here somewhere. But he probably does not want to waste a shot on me is my guess. Um... So I do move a little bit because I do not want to get hit. But now when we push up here, the problem is my guys push up directly behind me and they're shooting directly behind me. So, but but for now, we're going to pick up this KV-2 and get a shot on him. And uh, boy, that was kind of delayed, wasn't it? So, so a KV-2 has zero camo and so... Um, and zero view range as well. So we do take a shot, not through the bush, and um, just to kind of test things out. And we're waiting for a good shot, and we hit that Carnarvon for 408. A tier six tank hitting a tier eight heavy for 400. That's the reason I like this tank. That and the camo. So this is a perfect map for this thing. This thing is is uh, is designed to play camo sniping. TD and with 400 alpha you can really hurt people so so again we've decided we're going to push up into the bushes notice that we're we're watching for gaps in the bushes right because this uh, the T25 2 is on the other side but there could be something in the middle I don't know um and when we're kind of trying to get vision up here in the corner because oftentimes there will be something in this corner that will light uh, that you can light so um, waiting for the binos to come up and see how this guy is directly behind me this e25 that's just not good play because if you've got a guy pushing for you and trying to help you um, having two guys directly behind you if they get lit, they're going to get you shot. So we do switch sides here. More for the fact that I don't want anything to catch me out of these gaps here. So that's the reason we've moved to that side. And these guys are now busy shooting other things, which is great. That's fine. They can shoot at the, the, the cap. And it's 8 to 5 now, and I'm thinking, I know that there's at least a KV-2 back there, and we pick up this Nash horn. So, um, I don't even fire because I don't want to at this point, because I don't know what's in the back corner, um, and I just don't want to get, get lit yet. So... Now, what I should have probably done is crossed over here and got into this low ground. Um, especially with the help that I've got, but I decide that I'm going to drop into the left side, I believe here, and that ends up costing me. But um, because going going to this outside section here will avoid all these bushes in front. Yeah, and then there's there's the Yag Panther and the uh, Yag Panther and the KV-2 between the two of them take me out but we do pick up the game's basically over we do pick up a bunch of assists there so I mean that's in a tier 8 game with a tier 6 tank we ended up with with uh, 6,500 combined give or take we'll take a look at the after action report and um, 
and uh, have a look at that. But let's just fast forward to this. We know the KV-2 is in the very back and it is just a matter of time before our team uh, wins the game. So, and the KV-2 does get picked up and that's the end of the game. So, okay, let's go see the after action. Okay, here we're at the after action. We did get a Confederate. We also got a patrol duty, which is uh, a little bit funny. But um, those two first tanks that pushed in, uh, actually three, including the, the light tank, uh, really helped us to solidify our score. But um, 3,855 assist and 2,900 damage. We ended up, um, I didn't get any kills, but 1,620 base XP with no kills on that game and so we were first by XP um, we were uh, second by damage our T44 100 did very well as well so 13 shots 11 hits 8 pins I mean your bottom tier that's actually pretty good considering um, and uh, we ended up making some some credits because we had a premium account which is great and then 2400 uh, XP so um, appreciate you guys watching this. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the Basado, Basoto. I don't know how you pronounce it. You guys can maybe tell me in the comments. Uh, thanks again for watching. Tonester out.